everyone, what's up? I'm Megan Zimba and I'm here with Arthur Field and we're here with Brent again at the Heimer booth here at IMTS in Chicago. So Arthur, oh, wow, yeah. you talked to Brent. Yeah, you started. I you started. were talking like entry level and then I got yes. to talk to the next step. But we're here right now with Brent in front of like the, the, the cream of the crop, the top yes. of the top of the best of the best solutions. Brent. So this is like the end of the journey for It's the, the end of the shop. journey. So what is this, Brent? It's called our Automation Cube One. So it's a fully automatic system to shrink tools together, preset them, and then get them back out to the shop floor. So these are for people who are doing many, many tool shrinks in the course of the day. That's awesome. And this is the first time you're showing it here in the United States, right? First time in the United States here at IMTS 2024. Well, and, and even the people that might have seen it at Emo, I understand there's been a few tweaks too. So keep watching if you saw this at Emo because you were still got some more surprises in store. Absolutely, we've made a lot of improvements to Emo. And so yeah, come by, see it, or take a look at the rest of the video to see how this all works. So Brent, break this down for us. Like what are the top features on here? What should people get really excited about? So yeah, great question. So what they should get excited about is how it really takes all operator variables out of the equation. We've got these nice setup features set up uh, stations where you're going to put the old tool holder in in the red section. Uh, after it goes through the entire process, it will come back delivered to you in the green se section, meaning it's ready to go to the machine. You put the new cutting tool in the green section, and then you basically just, as it goes through, there's all these scanners in there. So it's scanning unique QR codes either on the tool holder, on the cutting tool, or even in the block of where the tool holder is sitting. Because we've got multiple tapers in this demo. We've got HSK 100, HSK 63, CAT 40. So it's really a true solution that can ha ha handle anything the shop might have to deal with. And it can shrink from eighth inch to inch and a quarter. That's a big difference as compared to last year, yeah. where it was a smaller range. Uh, you can change stop discs in the coil. It's all very automated and very accurate. We can hold the Z-axis dimension because it will preset the tool at the end too. And that's, uh, uh, the accuracy on the Z-axis is plus or minus 15 microns. So very wow. accurate and automated uh, system. And this can be customized for anyone. So it doesn't matter if you're a smaller shop or a bigger shop, Heimer's there to work with them and get this to, to what they need in their shop. Absolutely right. But on that note, you know, really the shops who are probably going to show the most interest are the ones replacing or shrinking 400 tools a day. Wow, okay. So it's, it's kind of a specialized machine as far as maybe that market. However, that's why when we were back at the basic side of things with the Heimer basic machine, shrink machine, I pointed out that, you know, the key is also shrink fit tool holders in general are the easiest to ultimately automate. So let's say it is a small to mid-sized shop who says, I don't need to do 400 tools in a day. But then when they're looking at different tool holding systems, what do they want to use for these applications? A ER collet chuck, a side lock end mill holder, whatever. Look at shrink fit because then ultimately if they get to the point where they come and they need something like this because they've grown so much that they're shrinking so many tools a day, they've already got the tool holders. The same tool holders that they're using on those basic machines would be the same tool holders they use here. So it really helps you prepare for the future. Yeah, and that's something I really appreciate about what Heimer's bringing to market, whether it's the high-end solution like this that does everything. I mean, it, that's dead simple. It's got little slots where you put the right end mill in, you put the holder in, you can do multiple spindles. But you can come to Heimer with the conversation, and you can start at that beginning level that Megan unpacked. Then you can move to the next level and keep adding and keep building on. The shrink fit tool holders you bought are going to transfer between systems. The cutting tools, the systems that you're building, the connectivity, all of that just keeps building together in partnership. Yeah. Much like Heimer has partnered with other people to make this solution possible. Yeah, absolutely. We use great equipment like from Siemens on the control of this machine. We have Kiens for the uh, vision system that's doing a lot of the scanning. There's multiple suppliers that helped us work together to develop this. And so you're right, we've used the best of the best to make it a really solid, reliable system. That's important because um, we, why reinvent the wheel when you've got specialists in certain departments, right. they were able to help us integrate all this together. So how does this then connect with some of the stuff that you spoke with Arthur about? Because I know you have your wind tool stuff here. How does it connect with that? Yes, we can send signals from the, the Siemens control to the uh, wind tool to say that the process has been completed. We can even 
get to the point of sending from the wind tool to the tool room manager. So the wind tool becomes a central database, so to speak, of the entire process, but it can all be connected so that you have a good tra traceability and trackability of what's happened, where the tools are in the shop, when were they shrunk, when were they preset, when were they balanced, whatever it happens to be. Yeah. So yeah, it all integrates together, but it's very modular. I want to point that out. Any of the system, even the wind tool system is very modular. You can start slow, add different modules later if you want to add certain features. It's the same with any of this. It's, it's very modular as far as how we connect things together. So did you guys know that the theme this year for IMTS was inspiring the extraordinary? I did not. Yeah, so this year's theme is inspiring, extraordinary, and I just feel like walking through this whole journey with you today, right, you guys are doing above and beyond inspiring the extraordinary. Yeah. Arthur, do you got any more questions? It's so straightforward, that's the thing. This is the high level thing for 400 tool changes, but this is a very straightforward system. It is, it he, is. He wanted this in his shop when he was <laughs> doing things like I'm that. I'm sure. <laughs> it, it, it would be the envy of many shops because yeah. it's so easy to get it all started. Now, again, you're not replacing the tool room because no. right. you're still going to have some face mill arbors. You're still going to have some boring heads, other yeah. things that need to be manually set up. But the stuff that can just be automatically shrunk, just let it go and then do your other work yeah. elsewhere. It's really helping people be more productive on other things that are priority than yeah. Yeah. some of this stuff. And it's helping cut back on downtime as well. Absolutely. And what manufacturer doesn't like that? Exactly, especially for the industries and the alloys where they tend to lean to all solid for their work. Yeah. Just with the nature of the material, the harder exotics. Yep. Typically indexable doesn't cut up because there's too much run out in an indexable tool. They gotta go solid. So those kinds of shops are gonna find a great solution here because it's really easy to ramp up your tool indexes when you start running all solid carbide. That's a great point, Arthur. In fact, we found that even in our own production. We In the front of the booth, we have a part we're making for our balancing machine. Yep. And we used to use a, a an insertable cutter. And because we have this now integrated, we actually put a solid carbide end mill in our hybrid truck, which is a new tool technology. And we were actually able to cut the machining time down to 53% or 53 less machining time for this. So That's again, awesome. super cool, but also we can integrate it. That's really kind of one of the starting points is we said, well, wait a minute, we, we have to put these inserts in all the time. But with a solid carbide end mill, you can just put it on this thing, let it go, and then get even better performance on the back end too, which is cool. And the great thing is, is if you can't make IMTS, yes, I feel bad for you because the show is great. It's you huge. can connect with Brent because they're actually going to be bringing this back to their showroom in Illinois. So be sure to connect with him after the show. Any more questions out there? No, I'm just, I love that Heimer's one of the companies. They make their own tools to use in their own factories. You know they're seriously committed to yeah. the industry when they're using the things they make. Yeah. That's it. That's well, the Brent, key. Thank oh. you so much for taking us on this journey through, yeah. you know, from start to finish. I learned a lot. Did you uh, learn a lot? He did, and he had to put up with us for a long time. Oh, I know. Time. <laughs> it was a very long time. It was a time. pleasure. It was a pleasure. <laughs> so, I'm Megan. This is Arthur. This is Brent. Be sure to stop by Heimer, and thanks for joining us, you guys.